Let me see. I've got some other questions here. Hawkeye says, love your content. Do you have any tips on relocating or IT jobs for uh, if you are low cash? I have I had a job offer, but they were two hours away from where I live on an army base where I live on an army base. OK. OK. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Hawkeye, um, I've been in this situation before myself. Um, in fact, um, 2000. Oh man, what year was that? 2014. I'd just gotten back from Kuwait. And um, that was brutal, right? And speaking of, I was trying to make a power move, right? There's several reasons I went. I, it's And I don't recommend that's hard. That's really hard to, to leave to another state. Super hard. Um, or another country. But I took this job in another country. This This is how dedicated I am. I got I did I had two kids and I'm married. So it was it's not easy to do something like that. But what I did was I went overseas and worked this a contract for two years. And they were paying me a ridiculous amount of money to do it. My the reason why I did it, first off, and you know, it's it was really hard to leave, but I had to I had bills I had debt to pay. And and I had to make a move to where I wanted to get some technical skills that I didn't have. So I figured it was it was kind of a strategic move, right? I had to leave I had to leave everything for two years, and then after that I'd be good, right? And I think two years was a bit much. <laughs> One year would have would have been good enough. And I think I did I did actually ended up doing like a year and a half. So relocation. No, I came back from Kuwait right after having been gone working with the army. Uh, came back and then got two job offers. One job offer was about 15 minutes from my house, 10 minutes from my house, something like that. It's pretty close, like downtown, right? The other job was a solid hour and a half drive away. The one that was an hour and a half away had, had paid double. And... And it was doing something I liked. And they offered me to, had an offer for me to expand. So take a guess on which one I took. I took the one that was an hour and a half away. <laughs> what I did was, the drive was so brutal. It's from Southern Colorado to Denver. The drive was so brutal that after a month of doing that, driving back and forth, the commute, I ended up just getting a a rental place there. Like I rented a place that was near the job. And then I tried to convince them. After a few months of that, I I talked to them. They saw my work was good. I liked the environment. It was a great company. I sat down with the managers during my evaluation. They were like, man, we want to hire you. You're, You're doing really good work. I said, well, there's only one issue. They wanted to hire me permanently. I was a contractor, contract to hire. And they were like, put it all on the table. They said, here's how much we'll pay you. We got great benefits and stuff. And it sounded good. But I was like, I can't. I just got back from Kuwait. I told them. And I said, I don't want to be away from my family anymore. And actually, I'm, I need to move closer to my family. That's in Southern Colorado. Is there something you guys can do for me? Do you have a satellite office that I could work from? And they said, yes. So they allowed me to work from the satellite organi- so from the satellite office, but they said, well, here's the thing. We need you here near Denver because that's where all our clients are. That's where we really need you to work. So I, we don't know how long we'll be able to allow you to work from that satellite office. We'll keep it in mind. You're a great worker. We want to keep you, but all of our clientele are up here, and this is where we really need you. So I did that for like a few more months, and then they let me go. And my, I guess what I'm trying to say is the, the way that I've been able to get and position myself is to make sacrifices. I just had to make I just had to make hard choices and say, okay, I need to make a I need to make an upward move. Like I was getting into ArcSight, as a matter of fact, that's what it was. I went to Kuwait and learned ArcSight, and then and and many other tools. And then when I came back. They offered me, I got an arc, arc site position. I, get, I was working, but I had to drive. 
And so I was doing more ArcSight and ArcSight paid way at the time. I don't know. I think I believe it still pays pretty good now. Um, and I'm pretty, it's a seam. So I'm sure it pays really, really good. Right. But at the time it was also paying really good. So um, I was like, man, I got to make this move because my point is sometimes you got to make sacrifices. Um, other than that, I would say be aggressively uh, put your resume out there. And I've got a whole course about how to do it. Put your resume out there. Be aggressive, man. Use keywords on your resume. Put it everywhere you can. Promote the hell out of it. And then start applying for jobs like like a madman. Uh, that's what I that's what I would do if I was in your position. I mean, I was in your position, and what I did was the most hardcore thing you can do is be willing to relocate or be willing to travel. It's all that's also super hard because I did that before Kuwait. I actually traveled for a year and I was doing um, 75% travel. I was just traveling, 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 tra- and they were paying me. It was my first six figure job. And um, I, that's like that's the sacrifices that I had to make to get to the point that I, I am now. And it's it was it was worth the sacrifice. Um, it was not easy. It was hard as hell, but now I can, you know, I'm, I'm in a position where I'm working from home, making really, really good money because I got the skills that that uh, that were needed to get to this point. Uh, and I knew it. I saw it. And the funny thing is, here's here's a, uh, the unexpected benefit that came from that sacrifice. I started learning. I got these mentors. These people mentored me. Like uh, when I went to Kuwait, there were several dudes who uh, mentored me. And if my man, Mr. Rodriguez, is watching this right there, man, you you really changed my life. So there were a few people who took me aside and taught me things. And they they saw I was willing to make that kind of I was dedicated. I was I was willing to do anything to learn more. And when they saw that, a few guys who who were making. I, I don't even they were making ridiculous amounts of money. It didn't even sound real. <laughs> but they said, look, if you want to be like me? You want to do what I'm doing? And they would take me aside and mentor me. And they would show me all these tricks. And some of those tricks I put in my courses, by the way. <laughs> but they would show me, they would tell me things. And that mentorship changed my freaking life. And I got mentored a few times by these people. Like I would go to these different, I would make these sacrifices, I would do all this travel. I would get mentored and they would tell me, they would tell me how to, um, what to put on my resume, what kind of keywords to use, what kind of markets are hot, 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 what kind of markets pay more, what kind of things to do. What I started to see like what was possible and, and seeing what was possible, I started to pursue things that they were doing. So I hope that helps.